So the symbol for a particular company is a circle. We'll pretend that that actually, that thing that I drew is really a circle. Um, and, and to commemorate the event, the square is being added to the center of the circle. Um, and if the original symbol in front of the company's headquarters has a diameter of six feet, what's the largest length of the side of the square uh, with it still being completely within the circle? So of course you may say to yourself, self, I have no idea how to handle, you know, uh, chords and arcs and stuff like that. The thing to remember is that the circle, we don't have to put the square in that orientation. We have a circle here, I'm just going to redraw it. To make it perhaps easier, I'm just going to do this. We can consider the diameter to be this too. We don't have to draw the diameter across the middle of the square, we can draw it as the diagonal of the square. It's still a diameter of 6, and here we're dealing just with the diagonal of a square. Remember, Squares have right angles, and then each of these is a 45 degree angle. And remember that with 45, 45, 90 triangles, the ratio of the sides to the hypotenuse is x to x to x times the square root of 2. So this 6 for the diagonal of the square is that number there. So the side of the square equals um, or the diagonal, sorry, um, 6, which is the diagonal, equals that side length times the square root of 2. We would divide both sides by the square root of 2 to figure out what the side of the circle is. 6 equals 6 over, or s equals 6 over the square root of 2. When, of course, that's an improper fraction, we get the um, radical out of the denominator by multiplying by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. We get 6 times the square root of 2 over 2, and that can be simplified even further to 3 times the square root of 2. Answer choice D.